Hey guys, what's up all? This is Hakan Tron from Web News, and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the Elementor Front End Event Submission Builder, which is our new add-on that has been released today, or it is called FES Builder for short. If you've worked with Front End Event Submission for in Madame's Calendar, the premium version or the light version, then you know that uh, it allows your end users to submit their events, but you can confirm these events before they're published as the admin. And also your users can sell their events on your website and a lot of other you know, features that you can read in our documentations. But before we get to the demonstration stage, uh, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video if you liked it, and also ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any instructional videos to come in future. So without it away, let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to install and activate this add-on first, but before that, um, as you know, Elementor FES Build App allows you to customize your front-end event submission forms, and so it helps you to design and customize these forms to your liking using the Elementor Page Builder, which is one of the most famous and popular page builders in the world. So now let's start with going to plugins, clicking on Add New and installing the plugin in the first place. I'll click on upload plugin, choose file, and then select the zip file that I've downloaded from WebNews dashboard. Now simply click on install now and just wait for it to be installed on your WordPress. After a few seconds, you have to click on activate plugin to activate your add-on on your WordNews calendar. All right. As you can see, now the add-on has been installed and activated on our WordPress uh, backend. After the add-on has been installed, you can see that under the Modems Calendar dashboard under WordPress, there's a new actually menu under the plugins uh, called FES Builder. If you click on it and you go to this page actually, you can see all the templates that you created for your FES Builder or your for the front end submission. But as you can see, uh, we have not created any templates for now, but we're going to. So simply click on Add New. Let's uh, choose New FS Form Template as a title and publish it right away. Afterwards, simply click on Edit with Elementor and you can then customize and design your FES page or form using the Elementor page builder there. Here you can see the widgets that are dedicated to FES Builder itself. There are a lot of them to use them on your FES form. To be exact, there are around 40 widgets here that you can use on your uh, front-end event submission form. Anyone who has uh, used Elementor before knows that Elementor is all about drag and you know, drop. So it's very simple. Uh, you can just drag and drop any elements that you need on your form and then when you drag it and drop it on your page on your form you can simply edit it by clicking on it so that's very very easy to customize your form using the widgets in the elementor page builder um, here i'm going to add the featured image element as well then the next field would be categories for me mm, clearly my event needs a date and time element as well because the event needs a time, right? And a date as well. So let's find it here. All right. Okay. So you can see that you can add any fields or elements you need on your uh, front end event submission form and you know, customize it using element right here. So simple. So what's very interesting about this uh, FES Builder is that you have all the styling options for each element or each, I could say, section, anything, any widget that you add on your form. And so uh, using these styling options, you can optimize the design of your form to your website and make it match your website. So it's, I think it's awesome, right? As you can see, I can change the background color. I can change the alignment, I can change everything, every single thing about its style on, on this particular element. For example, in the input label, I'm going to change the typography and also the phone and the phone size for the label of my title here. 
And also maybe I'll change the color to see what happens. And so we can customize all the form and all the elements on this form uh, to match the design of your website easily and very, very fast. I'm just gonna uh, restore the default style for the title as well. So we can continue this uh, video tutorial with the default sample of our front end the submission form. Um, the, my form is uh, almost complete now. I've got all the elements I need, but there is one um, very, very important element that you need on any uh, front end event submission form so that your users uh, can submit their events uh, on your website. This element is submit button. Uh, you actually must add the submit button to all your front end sub uh, event submission forms uh, so that your users can submit their events. On your website. If you do not add this element, then there's no button to submit any events, right? Okay, now that I have added this uh, submit button here, uh, actually you can customize this button as well in, with these style options that uh, are there in the element itself. So let's update the page. Okay, now that I'm back to my WordPress dashboard and now that I have my template, uh, I need to use it. So to do that, first I'll go to settings under my name dashboard. Here uh, on the settings uh, you need to click on front end event submission and then there is a new option called templates and it is set on default but if you click on the drop down you will see that there's a new template called new FES form template. It's a template that we have already created in our FES builder. Click on save changes and you're good to go. Now, just to check on the page uh, on my front end event submission, I need to go to pages, click on all pages. Here, the name of my page is FES form. As you can see, this is the design of my page, just like what I did in Elementor Page Builder. And you can design your forms of your front end event submissions simply using your FES form builder and the Elementor page bullet that we have integrated with it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and that's all for me. All right, thanks again for choosing My Name is Calendar and we look forward to see your expertly designed FES forms. If you had any further questions, please make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. We'll surely get back to you. And take care until next video.